Happy Independence Day, America. Dr. Drone, uh, coming back to you with a special little product today. Um, some of you have probably seen it, some of you probably haven't. But this right here is the Pixhawk Lite. Um, you get it off like Banggood or even eBay has them now. Um, and it's basically a miniaturized version of the full size 32 bit Pixhawk flight controller. Now it is missing a few minor options. You don't get the buzzer. You don't have the um, availability to plug in the external USB. So, you know, it's missing a few little things that you'll have to consider before you actually purchase one. One nice point is it's about roughly half the price of a full-size Pixhawk. So, that's a pretty good, pretty good savings if you're looking to step up to a 32-bit controller with all the functions. So, let me kind of give you a little size comparison here. There's the uh, CC3D. Um, and as you can see, Pixox light's a little bigger, but they're, um, you know, it's not too much bigger. I believe it's a 43 by 42 millimeters in dimension. But uh, just like the full-size Pixhawk, you can actually hook up two GPSs it's to uh, give you a redundancy. Um, and it has multiple sensors for your accelerometer, your gyro, um, I think it only has a single um, barometer still, but um, it basically works off both the sensors. So if one of them is getting a little interference, it'll switch to the other sensor to give you a lot stabler flight. And I've been running the Pixhawk, full size Pixhawk board for about a year now, and I love it. I've never had a single glitch or anything happen with the Pixhawk board. Um, highly recommend it. Um, now that they miniaturized it, you have the potential now to put it in things like, like this. It'll fit right inside a uh, 250 size quad. As you can see there. Um, you know, if it was any bigger, it probably wouldn't work too well, but you know, it'll fit, fit right in there. Or, in my case, what I'm going to be putting it on is a Hobby King Trifecta. Um, I've actually been currently running the um, Hobby King Micro APM. Um, but I've been having some issues with like altitude hold mode. Um, I mean, I had it working fine, and then I don't know. It's just susceptible to getting interference or something, or maybe the uh, the uh, sensors just aren't as good. Uh, I'm not sure what the problem is. And uh, again, this is the HK version. You know, I have not tried the um, APM 3.1, which you get on eBay, which is essentially the same micro APM board, um, but it's made by a different manufacturer. So hopefully, it's got better components in it. Um, uh, if you have good experience with the APM 3.1, please uh, comment in the uh, comments below and let me know that, that you like it or not. Um, I haven't heard any feedback on that one. However, the HK board, I've heard a lot of negative feedback. A lot of other people have been experiencing the same issues I have. So this uh, Pixhawk light board will be doing its maiden flight inside a Hobby King Trifecta. Um, this is actually my favorite craft right now, so I'm really trying to uh, step up the performance and go from the 8-bit board to a 32-bit board. So, um, if you order a Pixhawk light, you're not going to get a power module. So keep that in mind, you'll have to order one separately. But what you will get is, you know, a bunch of wire connectors that honestly, most of them don't plug into what you need them for. Um, you will get a safety switch. It does have a port for a safety switch. And then you also have the option to um, go into the software and eliminate the safety switch function if you don't really want to use it on such a small craft like the uh, 250 size or a Hobby King Trifecta. Um, you do get a 12C splitter board. So if you want to add an external LED lighting, um, I think you get extra compass through this. If you want to do multiple 12C connections, they provide that for you. And it does come with a uh, PPM encoder. If you're not familiar with the Pixhawks, it will not take multiple RC inputs. It only takes a single S-Bus style connection um, or a combined uh, or a CPPM. Um, so you have to have a PPM converter if you do not have an S-Bus or CPPM uh, receiver. <clears throat> but that's included. I won't actually be using that. And then, like I say, it comes with a plethora of extra cables that honestly won't help you out a whole lot. Um, I know you'll need one of them for the power module. Um, you might be able to use one of them 
you know, it does come with a little um, four pin connector that you typically use to connect a uh, telemetry. Um, so there you go. Now one thing I have noticed is um, if you are going to run a GPS, um, the GPS, you can run dual GPSs and you can run dual telemetry. So, but the problem is the GPS and the telemetry share the same six pin connector. So you're going to end up having to splice one of these extra six pin connectors in half and then chop off the end of your GPS connector and then solder them into the right uh, pins. But um, the pinouts are provided online, so that shouldn't be too hard to accomplish. And um, I'll end up doing a follow-up video on that process as well. But there you have it, the Pixhawk Lite. Um, again, if you have used this board, comment. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Um, I haven't actually got this thing up in the air yet, but hopefully sometime this week and it'll be in the trifecta, and I will be flying it and be able to give it a full uh, maiden review. So thanks for watching guys and enjoy the fireworks tonight and uh, keep it safe.